hoes off cause I'm a no limit soldier. At ease, I salute. Dip, pass me the shh. Make him say, uh. I had currency in here and he did my hot wing show. Okay. And I asked him, what was the best advice you ever received from Master P about being your own boss? Mm -hmm. And he told yes. me that you have to write your own checks. Well, I told guys that, because a lot of guys, they say, they come from the streets, they made all this money on the streets. If you got real money, then what are you looking for a record deal for? Uh, talking, you talking on these songs, I'm the biggest dope dealer, I took over my hood, but now you're looking for a record deal, it makes no sense. So I think this generation should stop being fraud to, if you're not really living like that, talk about how you live and talk about the struggle. I think if this generation start being more real and stop getting caught up into the social media gimmicks, that you are really be able to see the talent now. And that's, and you brought up another interesting point that Currency said in his answer because it sounds like if there's not that much money to be made off of selling records, yeah. then maybe the motivation wouldn't be in making the music. Maybe it would be in building your brand and that's why these things yeah. happen. But he says, no, that's a bad strategy. Live in the studio. If you putting in the work and you find a hit record, I tell people all the time, you're not in the music business unless you have a hit record. So you're not going to get there unless you're in the gym like a Stephon Curry, her boyfriend, <laughs> uh, LeBron James, somebody that's actually putting in the time. Same thing you got to do in the studio, but you're not in the music business until so you get a hit record. So any artists that don't understand that, they're going to be lost and they're going to be angry. Uh, they're going to be disappointed. Uh, every whole career is going to be based on a gimmick. A few artists today, a lot of them are finding success off being real, but then there's a whole mass of artists who, like you said, are putting up a facade. Well, to be honest with you, a lot of people, even in the street life, people want that quick fix. They want that quick come up to success, and they say it, it, it never lasts. So people that do that, they might reach that peak. They might fool a couple of people. They might even get a check. But at the same time, if you look at it, respect and the reputation, you're gonna be looking for that next. But sometimes you gotta prove to, like even my own friends, we go at it, we yeah. give, you can check No Limit History, that's another thing I'm gonna add in the movie. When we have a problem, we put on the boxing gloves, and I don't care who it is, it could be me and C, me and Baez, Mystical, whoever. If you got a problem, we're gonna take it to the ring, and the ring gonna be in the office. We got, we had holes in the walls in the office, and guess what, the next day we go back to work, like friends. So I'm putting the boxing gloves back in my office. So all the youngsters in my office that want to yeah. get, get into it or something, you know what, we're going to see what's real and we're going to film it and we're going to put that on social media. And guess what, so now when you put out a gimmick, you're going to be, you're going to be quiet. You don't need, you have nothing to say. Better be able to cash that check. Exactly.